The following program contains no firearms, no scenes of hunting, no violence and no cruelty to animals. We do not promote hunting. All guns shown in this program are compressed by spring, gas piston or PCP. Do not require a firearm license. The program is aimed to be informative, entertaining and sportive. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and uh, thanks for checking in once again. So today's video is going to be a review video of a newly launched air rifle from Precival Sports. We were all expecting a bullpup air rifle from Precival Sports. They have recently launched the bullpup air rifle of their lineup and it's called the PX120 Minotaur which is with me right now. Here it is guys, the PX120 Minotaur is with me. We all have been expecting a bullpup air rifle from Precival to be launched and they have launched it over here. This rifle reached over me like about two weeks back. I got this rifle delivered to me about two weeks back and I have been using this rifle for almost two weeks testing out different pellets, trying out all the things I could with this rifle just to find out or get used with the rifle and make a good review for you guys. So I'm here to tell you what all I found with this rifle to be the good and the bad. So. At first, this rifle came in a very good cardboard packing. I'll just tell you like what all the items were available with the cardboard packing of this rifle. So, this rifle had like about uh, 50 sample pellets in a small box and then it had a fill probe for this rifle. The fill probe usually you get with the PX100 has a threaded bottom, I think a 1x8 BASP thread or something. But this one has a QD system, the quick, uh, the quick release system at the bottom which is integrated with the fill probe which is very useful for guys like me and then you have a set of allen keys to do some basic work on this rifle and then a single shot tray and a 10 shot rotary magazine with this rifle so these are all the things which are available with the box in this uh, with this rifle let's see the end up details of this rifle starting on the front to the back and starting on the front you have attached moderator on this rifle there are two versions of this rifle the one with the moderator and another one model without the moderator I will update the prices of this rifle in my description below. You can check it over there. They have two different price ranges for one with the moderator and without the moderator. So this moderator is a little bit shorter than the original moderator which is on the PX100 X3. So they have made it shorter specifically to make the size very compact of this rifle. And uh, it does a decent job like it just hushes the sound uh, really decently I would say. At the stock setting it just does a very decent job. You can see the gun is empty so I'm just taking a dry fire shot. Decently good I would say. 12 mm diameter rifled barrel of this uh, gun like this is an excellent and awesome barrel I would say. The best part of a Precival is that they have a very 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 accurate barrel. Um, and the barrel is again like about 1 to 1.5 inches shorter than the PX100. I wish they had it in the same length. Uh, the reason is that they wanted it to be more compact. So this one suits the look of this rifle like rather than like protruding outside like this suits the look of this rifle a lot. I had to test it at long ranges say like 75, 100 yards like my PX100 bullpup. I just wanted to push this limit of this rifle and see how good the barrel is. I mean like does it make any difference with that one inch shorter barrel i just had to find out let's find out in the future so below the barrel we have a 180 cc reservoir of this rifle 180 cc reservoir gives me about 50 consistent shots 60 they say like i get about 50 consistent shots at the stock settings and uh, it was pretty good i would say and uh, in front of the reservoir we have the manometer which gives you the pressure available in the rifle and then in between the reservoir and the manometer you have a fill port of this rifle over there there is a rotating dust cap of this rifle so you rotate the dust cap to the exact position put in your fill probe just fill it using a hand pump or a scuba tank or a compressor like uh, this rifle since it has a 180 cc reservoir which is relatively small i would say can be easily filled with a hand pump for sure and the side cocking lever of this rifle is one of the favorite thing I just uh, love with this gun. The cocking lever is butter smooth. It is really effortless. You just can load it uh, without any kind of effort. Just uh, smooth like butter, I would say. So it doesn't need any kind of effort. And the cocking lever, since it is in the front, gives me a lot of comfortable shots. Like I would say, like I don't have to push my hand all the way over here and load the gun. 
I just can load it over here very easily, which I found to be very, very, very comfortable. And over there is a 11 mm dovetail of this rifle. And this is one feature I just had to say, like, I wish, I wish this 11 mm dovetail was a little bit longer because uh, all the scopes, like, uh, there are some scopes which has a very long eye relief and they need the scopes to be mounted a little bit to the front. Say, uh, if you have a longer extended rail, you just can put a scope a little bit to the front, adding a scope can and everything like comes in handy, I would say. For that purpose, I found uh, the Hawk Vantage to be the suitable scope for this. Uh, lightweight and I don't need much space for a scope cam to go behind this gun and I can comfortably place my cheek on this gun as well. So I have mounted a Hawk Vantage 4 to 12 by 40 AO scope on this like and favorite and an awesome scope of mine so behind that we have the action block of this rifle so, uh, the action block is almost similar like that of the px100 but has some changes so usually on a px100 you see a dovetail 11 mm dovetail on this so you can see it on my px100 bullpup i'll show it to you side by side uh, on my px100 bullpup there is a 11 mm dovetail over here so what happens is like when i just put my cheek over there I had to face my cheek against a sharp 11 mm dovetail, which is like not so comfortable, I would say. On this, they have made it like uh, chamfered the top over here, which is very easy for me to rest my cheek on this place. Like I found it to be very comfortable than my PX and a bullpup. And below that, you have your safety, the safety system over here. Uh, it's the same safety just like the PX100 you push it to the right I mean like push it from the left the safety is on uh, Hammer blocking safety and push it from the right the safety is off and you're ready to fire and This rifle has a hard plastic stock a fiber stock a hollow stock I would say and the reason they have extended stock at the back over here is that They wanted to make it ergonomically comfortable the trigger pull the length of pull of this rifle has to be comfortable that is the reason they have made it a little bit uh, extended behind the action block so the last but the very important feature of this gun is the trigger of this rifle this one has a new trigger compared to that of the px100 which is completely new so when i spoke with the preceval sports they told like this trigger is from their match grade model so the sear of this rifle is completely different i'll put up a video for that this has a non-adjustable first stage kind of a pseudo first stage i would say and has a very crisp breaking second stage which is uh, an awesome feature of this rifle it breaks very clean has a definite first stop and then breaks very clean like uh, when i load up the rifle you have a very clean first stage very smooth working first stage and then stops has a definite stop and then breaks really clean so the trigger is an important thing for this rifle it helps a lot in accuracy i would say the trigger is one of the important feature of this rifle so all of these features added this makes this rifle a very good ergonomically friendly and an awesome rifle for sure so i tried different varieties of pellets for this rifle so usually I found JSPs to be very accurate for this rifle but this time I did not find the JSP or the Hades to be very accurate. I found the h and Barracudas and the G Smith Hyper Impacts which is almost looking like that of the Barracudas were very accurate in this rifle. So I chose h and Barracudas and Hyper Impacts for the review video today. So what we are going to do is like take those shots at 25 yards, take the shots at 25 with the two pellets maybe like 10 shot group at 25 yards and then uh, move the same to about 50 yards and see how the rifle is going to perform so today it's a kind of a windy day over here i did not expect it to be so windy like what it is now so i expected to be a little calm day than what it is so but unfortunately it's ended up as a windy day but i don't want to postpone the review video anymore 25 yards i don't think it's not going to make a big impact the wind is not going to make much of an impact on the accuracy part but i think at 50 yards there may be a shift so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to make a 25 and 50 yard group over here today just like today and after a few days like i'll come out with the same gun tuned a little bit to my own perfection the trigger tuning to be done 
uh, maybe like uh, try out different more pellets of the, uh, for this rifle the right projectile at the right speed and this rifle may perform much better i have a belief like that and i have a aftermarket regulator to be fitted on the same gun we'll test out the regulator also so at that time if the wind dies down a bit i'll put up groups like 50 75 and 100 year group with the same gun uh, so let's So here we are at the 25 yard range, gonna test two pellets, uh, the HN and Barracudas and the Hyper Impact. These two were found to be the most accurate pellets out of the collection which I had. I will post a photo of the groups which I already made to test the pellets which are suitable for this gun. And uh, now I am gonna test the HN and Barracudas at first at 25 yards. Today is a windy day, not so calm, but at 25 I don't think there will be much of a problem. So loaded up a magazine full of HN and Barracudas gonna go 10 shots on the 25 yard target so let's see how it goes and uh, I'll turn on the scope cam so that you just can see maybe hopefully the pellet flying in the air let's see okay okay let's take 10 shots Right. All right, 10 shots and done. So all I can see is one single hole over there. Uh, there is always one shot to ruin the group. It was the second shot I hope. Let's take a closer look at that. So now I'm going to test the G Smith Hyper Impact pellets. So loaded 10 shots of G Smith Hyper Impact but the gun is zeroed for H&M and Barracuda so I don't know whether it will be on the target let's see how it goes 10 shots with G Smith Hyper Impacts 10.6 grains um, okay, turning on the scoop cam it's a little windy let's see how it goes
right 10 shots done with the hyper impacts seems to be better than the barracudas let's compare those up close and see which one to use for the 50 yards maybe i'll use both of them for 50 let's see how it goes So now the 25 yard accuracy testing is done. Let's see the results of the 25 yard grouping. The PX120 Minotaur was shooting two pellets, the HNN Barracudas and the G Smith Hyper Impacts. I expected the HNN Barracudas to be better than the G Smith Hyper Impacts, but it was the reverse. Uh, but it was a win playing around. I hope so. A full magazine of pellets, 10 shots at 25 yards through the PX120, the HNN Barracudas and the g smith hyper impacts like did an awesome job almost into the same hole like must be less than half inch 100 percent center to center like i'll just uh, put the measurements of the groups on the side over here so that you just can have a clear view of it so at 25 yards both of the pellets performed really well so let's get into the 50 yard grouping it's really burning out here so Quickly, I'm going to take uh, 5 shots with the HNN Barracuda 10.65 grains at 50 yards through the PX100. It is windy. It started to be a lot windy than it was before. So, I'm just going to check how good it is even in this windy conditions. Let's give it a try at 50 yards. Okay. There's a bit of wind from the right to left. Alright. The wind is picking up, it is pushing from the right to the left. Right. The wind is playing around. Almost shot. Right. Done. We are done. 10 shots at 50 yards. With the HNN Barracudas, I am really impressed. As I told, like, I am going to take 5 shots with the G Smith Hyper Impacts at 50 yards. Let's see how it goes. wind is pushing it's getting a lot windy yeah
All right. I have loaded two more shots. Just gonna check how good they are gonna group. The wind is picking up really hard. Okay, so seems to be in good group with the Hyper Impacts too. It's really burning outside. Let's take the targets up close, see how the results are and wind up the video. So as you saw, like the 50 yard grouping is done. So these are the two groups at 50 yards. And I would say these are not the best groups which I have shot earlier. So you can see in both of the groups, you can see lateral movements like left to the right movement. And that is clearly because of the wind, which is switching on and off, changing directions here and there. So I would say like this is a decent group, even at that windy condition, this is a very decent group at 50 yards. But still, I need the rifle to be tested in a very calm condition than this. Like it is really windy over here. The wind is blowing almost about 18 to 22 kilometers per hour today which is like going to push a 177 caliber 10 grain pellet very easily to about almost half or one mil dot at 50 yards. So what I'm going to say is like this group at 50 yards in this kind of a windy condition is really good. So this is the group uh, 10 shots out of h and Barracudas. I'll put out the measurements of the group and this is like about five, six or seven shots. I don't know. Like I'll count and po post it like out of the G Smith hyper impacts. All you can see is like groups moving from the left to the right, not up and down. So this is clearly because of the wind which was playing around when I was taking the shots. So I am satisfied with the 50 yard grouping in such a windy condition for sure. So as of now the accuracy testing is done and I am completely satisfied and happy with the results which is produced by the PX and Minotaur at uh, 25 and 50 yards. So as I told you like I will come back again. I'll shoot the same gun in a much calmer situation and show you like what it is at 50, 75 and maybe at 100 yards. So we have came to the end of the video. So we saw about the PX 120 minute of the bullpup which is launched from Preciol Sports and uh, we saw the performance at 25 and 50 yards. It was windy but still I would take the performance at any day like I would say it was a very good and decent performance for sure at 50 yards and 25 yards it was like all in same hole because the wind did not have much to affect at 25 yards but at 50 it was able to push the pellets still i would take it like uh, still lot more testing to be done uh, with this gun like lot more tuning lot more testing to be done and i'll come back with the same gun maybe with my px100 side by side take some long range shots with some slugs because slugs are performing excellent in my px100 i hope it performs the same way in this gun also so i'll tune the gun up for some slugs come back with my px100 and the px120 side by side and shoot slugs and find out how accurate they are how superbly they are performing at long ranges let's see uh, in the future videos I hope i had delivered the messages which you all have been looking for to know about the px120 uh, i think i have delivered it in the right way and still more testing to be done and still more findings to be uh, informed to you guys i'll do it in the future videos i hope this content was useful so if you find it useful like you just can consider subscribing my channel or you can consider liking my uh, videos or sharing them to your friends. So I will post up more videos frequently or soon as possible. So stay tuned for the next one like see you again bye bye.